With Jared Gordon being pulled from the Jim Miller fight this week, um, was it because his media day interview? Yeah, when you come in here on press day and you announce that you had a concussion six weeks ago and you healed yourself from the concussion, yeah, you're done. He should have told us that six weeks ago. You know what I mean? You should have been, you should have been, um, you know, should, should have showed at least the company and your opponent some respect and at least did that six weeks ago. Dana White is raging at a fighter for wanting to fight after suffering an injury. I'll tell you why he's wrong in a sec. You're not a doctor. This is brilliant. This is the same Dana White who said COVID is like the flu. It's like the cold. As of late May, nearly 7 million people have died. It is anything like a cold, Dr. Dana. Just food for thought. You didn't cure yourself from a, from, from a concussion. And, and, and not to mention, so what did he do? Did he get a concussion? Was he self-diagnosed? Or did he go to a doctor? And did a doctor diagnose him with a concussion? It's just, it's just, it's... You have to be honest when you get injuries. Here's the issue with Dana. He will blame anyone at any point, no matter what, instead of looking inward. Is this too quick of a turnaround? Because I know emotionally you want to be there, right? But physically, you know, is there any talk like, is that safe? Is that smart? Of course. You know, I had a minor concussion, um, but I got over the symptoms fairly quickly. This was the startling admission from Gordon after he had 17 days notice to fight Jim Miller. Gordon, like many, know the UFC squeezes pennies with their roster of fighters. Take one of the greatest in MMA history, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, admitting on a stream he made $14,000 fighting the great Dominic Cruz for the bantamweight title because of the low pay from White and many others. At this point in my career, I was like, you know, we should, sometimes you gotta risk it a little bit, right? To, to get what you want. And I think, you know, a little bit of risk is not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm risking it anyways going in there, even if I didn't have that outcome six weeks ago. So I'm, you know, I was like, let's do it. And this is what we do, right? We fight, you know, I make a living doing this, so that's another reason to do it. They gave me a new contract, the UFC, another deal, and you know, a, a bump in pay, and, and I think it was worth it. Gordon has to do what Gordon has to do. He is admitting he has to fight, no matter where he is, mentally or physically, because he eyes another UFC contract, a coveted one, one that takes advantage of the competitors, those that put on the shows, and are in the end taken advantage of by White, the Fertitas, Endeavor, etc. Everyone involved at the UFC. There is no two ways around it here for Dana White and those who run this company. There is constant pressure on these guys to perform in order to get paid the low sums they do by White and many others. And Dana is mad at Gordon? Really? This is the business model y'all have set up. You have no right to be mad at this guy. It's not like they didn't know the timeline either. And if they didn't, that goes into a white staple of blaming others for being unprepared. Do your homework. Can White and UFC matchmakers seriously claim they didn't know or at least seriously suspect that Gordon was concussed by Green before offering him the Miller fight less than a month later? You want to talk about respect? Where's the respect for Gordon's health and safety? Wrote MMA junkies Simon Semeno. Were the matchmakers and Dana White somehow unaware that Gordon's fight with Bobby Green ended with him being knocked out? Did they forget that knockouts produce concussive injuries? Asked Steffi Haynes. MMA manager Daniel Rubenstein provided some insights. It all started, though, with Mookie Alexander asking, Has Nevada stopped releasing medical suspensions? Because it seems like they actually have. I see nothing from any UFC pay-per-view. I'm sorry, I see nothing from any UFC Vegas shows this year. Nolan King of USA Today responded, yes, all we have access to now is to see the status of licenses, suspended or not. We can't see durations or reasons for them. Then Rubenstein chimed in, neither can we. We just get told by the promoter what suspensions the fighters have and what is needed for it to be cleared. I've lobbied for a limited login to the ABC database to check my fighter suspensions and licenses and was denied. Via Simano once more, none of this is to let the Nevada Athletic Commission off the hook. But what can you expect 
When that governing body prioritizes the interests of the UFC organization over the fighters they're supposed to look after. Nobody was looking out for Jared Gordon with this booking. And the only reason he wasn't subjected to more head trauma so soon is because he accidentally said too much without thinking about it. In the end, disaster averted, but what a massive failure by the powers that be.